Now, I'm going to be tying uh, basically a double decker emerger, is what I call it. Now, the double decker is like a comparadun type part fly that's fished in the Lake of Monteith, uh, originally tied for the river, um, but it, the competition anglers have started to use it a lot uh, over the years and it fishes extremely well. Uh, especially in the lake, but we'll fish in many uh, lochs and lakes in the UK and Ireland uh, and around the world. Any emerging type flies, this will work. Now, it's a good colour combination. It's a, I mean, uh, in this case, I'm using this a creamy coloured uh, dubbin. This is from Wopsy. Uh, it's basically for its life cycle, if you want to there. Uh, it's a life cycle in cream. And it's a colour I use a lot. I'm using it in dry flies as much as emergers and so on. So it's a, it's a good dubbing uh, to have, and a colour that fish, seeing a lot of natural flies that come off. Now, to tie the double decker emerger, uh, the hook I'm using is a, this is a full and mill, it's a all-purpose medium, in this case it's a size 12. Now I'm using a different thread to what I normally use, this is the, the Vivis thread 14 and it's a, a nice bit of brown colour, a, quite a light coloured brown. Now it's a nice thread that's Quite, it's a nice strong thread. It's finer than the what I would normally use in the Uni AO. Now I'm going to start at the eye. Now, I have waxed the thread. I always like to wax the thread and work my way down. Now in the double decker, they use a cock de leon for the tail, and I'm actually going to put this on as well because this will good a good uh, impression of the shock and of the tail fibers. I'm just using uh, this case, it's, uh, they call it light speckled, this one here, this is a make here, it's a quality cock de leon and we've got lots of fibres out it. Now tail length, because it's more on the merger, I'm looking not too long, body length, just over the back, to a couple of turns there just to hold it. I'm going to trim that away. Then we take this up. Then I'm going to use the thread as a rib, so what I'm going to do is put my finger on it and double the thread thickness just by forming a loop in there. That gives me my rib for the body. Now the sort of first so say mull or so I'll just keep the thread colour and I'll get my dubbing. Just lightly dub it onto the thread, slide it up. Carrot shaped body. So we're here we are. To this point here, near about so two thirds of the way up, then take away the excess. Take away the longer fibres we don't need. This is our doubled thread for our rib. And come up through. Get a wee bit of wax on my thread. Sure, that's tied in. Just stroking the fibres back. Use my fingers, and then trim away the waste. You quite look, see how things are sitting. That's fine. Now I'm going to get. Now I'm using some CDC natural coloured CDC. Two to three feathers, depending on the size of the fly, or the size of the feathers, and these are quite small, so I'm putting three on together, three, one on top of the other, line the tips up, and I form a bubble using the, the CDC, so I stroke back what I don't want, and pull in this end to the tips. Keep them nice and tight, come around, catch them in, two or three turns. And then let's make sure this is secure. Now this is an optional thing. I'm going to put some legs on. This is pre knotted pheasant tail legs. Now I'm going to put two either side, just give the impression of legs. Just tear off four in this case, obviously. You want to separate them so they get two either side. Now I'm keeping them sort of towards the end of the tail tips of the fibre. Come round. Two three turns. Trim away. Now we quick look, see how they're sitting. You can see 
and the legs are sitting there. Then we go back to our dubbing. Make sure that's secure first. And then we lightly dub this on. Slide it up. Now, I don't wax the thread when I'm putting dubbing on. Uh, not in this case anyway. Very, just an odd time that I do wax the thread for very fine type dubbing like mole or something like that. And now, give yourself a reasonable head length because you've got the stems of the CDC to tie in as well. We're going to put a wee drop of deer hair in, so you've got to give yourself at least a mill, mill in a bit. We quick look, see how it's that's fine. So then, what we do is we take these forward, hold them. Now, what I want, I'll just twist these a wee bit so you can see what I'm doing. I need some of the fibres either side. So, just to give a wee bit more wing like out. Don't want the bubble too long. You could have it, it's up to yourself, but about half the body length. So, it just then pinch what you want. Nice and tight. Now, this point. It's worthwhile putting some wax on your thread and then trim away the waste. Now what you want to do then is take your thread to the eye, take the thread turns into the cut ends of the CDC. See how it's looking. So there basically is your your nymph like or mayfly body if you want to call it. It's just there. Uh, it's a good shape. Now you could stop at that. That's a good part in itself. Now, depending on the size of the head here, it's just a wee touch. If you think it's just a wee touch long, but I mean it's okay. But you can slightly, you could hide that a wee bit, which is putting a wee tiny bit of dub in there. And then we can tie in the, the deer here. Now I've just got a row of deer. So a wee bit of uh, natural, some natural row. Uh, I don't want a lot of fibres, just give the impression of wing. Now I'm going to, not going to stack it, I want it slightly longer than the CDC. So what we then do is come over, nice and tight, a good 5 or 6 turns here. And then what I like to do is pull some of the cut end fibres up and bring a turn or two of the thread through and work my way towards the, the eye of the hook. Now keep the thread tight, ignore things at this point and then let finish. And then we trim away with thread. And much like you would do in the Elkhair Candice, we can slightly angle cut. And then just tap that with your finger. And there we are. Get a nice shape. Then we can varnish onto the head. All the way around. 